It's Chris from Chris Schneider Art. Hello, I'm doing a seascape today with the stormy sky. It's a 25 by 35 canvas, so I'm using it in landscape form. The sky is going to be flip cut first and I'm going to swirl it. But I'm using quite dark colours. It must probably go really light now I've said that, but the intention is it for it to be dark and stormy. I'm going to sit, let that sit for quite a while. And then I'll flip cut the C. The C I may add into details while it's still wet, either with silicon swipes or make shapes in it. The colours are all the tones of blues, but there is a pop of the iridescent green yellow in there as well. I'm using three colours in my sky, Payne's grey and two blues that I've custom mixed. So you've got a dark blue, a mid-tone blue and a light blue. And it's this combination that I'm hoping is going to give a lovely swirl in the sky. I layer my three sky cups. And if you want to see my thinking behind how I layer my cups, there is a video that I've done. I've put a link at the top of the screen. One. Oh, that was meant to be in the middle. Put that in the wrong place. Two. Three. How? Oh, that was meant to be up here. These two are down here. Good, good, good. Good luck, guys. Okay, I let them sit for about a minute and I'm going to do my pullbacks. Okay. Big air bubble. And another one. Look at the swirl of the colour. Let's just pop that air bubble there. It doesn't want to pop. I'll get it when I torch. Got some air bubbles, which I'm going to torch now. And then I've got some paint going over the edge, so I'm just going to fill in the sides using this paint. Okay, I was just getting rid of some of those cells. I will be doing a video on how to sink cells, but when it's a bigger painting like this, I just needed to get working on it. You need to do it when the painting's really wet. But like I said, I will do a bite size on it. So I've just sunk some of the cells which were coming through, which was my fault because my blue, the light blue that I had mixed up, I hadn't let it stand for long enough. So when I torched, loads of air bubbles popped and it brought some of the different colours up. So I was getting speckles. But I've managed to sort it out and I'm really loving this dramatic sky. This is going to stand a long time because there's still a lot of paint on the canvas and anything tilting I do for the sea is going to affect this. I've left this a day. You can see it started to dry in some of the areas, but it's still quite wet here. Now I did go into this corner and I'm not sure if I've ruined it or not, but I can't do anything until I put the C on. These are going to go over my C a bit. It's a dark C. Oh, it's tight. My cups might be too big. Good luck, guys. <laughs> That phthalo green again is beautiful. It's really lovely.
okay I've finished playing so you can see I've made some changes I put a dark strip here I needed that darkness there so that part of the sky is fab where I messed around is a nightmare so I most probably have to do some changes to this once it's dry I can't touch it now really pleased with the sea I added a bit of the green yellow here just to give it a, a little bit of a lift down this lower part to help bring it forward because at the moment the sky is here this sky is boom this side its sky is receding so i most probably have to darken this section up this is how the painting dried and i just was not happy with it it wasn't working at all for me the sky was too busy and it was competing with the waves so i had to do something about it so I painted over it. I used a one inch brush to do the blended sky and it's the first time I've done this with acrylic so I was really pleased with how it turned out. There is some wonderful texture in the C part because when I was manipulating the paint because it was relatively thick it does leave marks but I don't mind this it kind of adds to the drama and the texture. The colours in the sea are so beautifully iridescent it's very difficult to show you that's why I'm waving the painting around. It was a really big step to actually paint over that sky because I was really worried that I was going to ruin the painting but I felt I didn't actually have anything to lose. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.